I'm going to show you just how easy it is to keep on top of your Gmail inbox, keep it clean and free of all that unwanted clutter using a bot from Axiom.ai, a no-code browser automation tool. I'm Alex Barlow, co-founder of Axiom. Let's dive in. First, for a bit of context, this is how the bot works. It opens up Gmail, just like you would. Then it mimics your actions. It'll enter a search term, looping through one at a time from the Google Sheet, causing Gmail to filter the emails down. The bot will then click Select. It will then click Delete and remove the emails. Simple as that. And when it's done one search term, it will then repeat the same process for the next. Before you can use the template, you'll of course have to install it into your Axiom account. That is simple to do. If you've come from the YouTube channel, all you need to do is go to axiom.ai, look at the menu bar at the top and click on templates. You'll find the Gmail template there. If you're already on the template page, which you can see on screen, you can just click the install button. And if you don't, have an Axiom account, just follow the prompts to create one. Configuring this Gmail Cleaner template. It's pretty straightforward. There's only one step, step 1.0, that you actually need to configure out of the box. And that is the enter custom data step. It is completely empty. And here you will, um, when installed, here you will want to input terms you wish to filter by. It can be an email address, it can be a name. You want to make sure they're separated by a line. Don't leave any white spaces, that could cause an issue. So when deleting, be, be careful to make sure you delete everything from a line. The purpose of this demo and the privacy of my inbox, I'm just going to show a single term being removed. But of course, you can enter multiple rows and loop through it. That's all the configuration I need to do. I'm now ready to run the bot. Okay, I'm ready to run the bot. I've got my search terms in the first um, step. All I need to do is click run. I'm gonna run it on the desktop so I can watch Axiom, Axiom in action and I'm gonna talk you through what it does as it goes. Hopefully it will load Gmail on a pre-configured search because I've adjusted the URL here because I don't want to flash any emails that are private. So I'm going to click run. I'm going to do our first test run of this bot. Just click run task when that pops up. It's because we're not writing any data to a Google Sheet. This is the runner. It's going to open up Axiom. It's already going to be filtered by the search. And this is a newsletter that I received by Benedict Evans. It's quite interesting but I want to clean it out. So let's see what the bot does. So now it's selected all the emails. It's gonna click. It's just scraped for the select all. I'm now I'm gonna click clear selection and start cleaning up my inbox. There we go. Next axiom should loop through my second search term. Here we go. Now you'll notice the UI does change when they're less than 50 emails. You can just click delete. This is why we do a scrape step you're seeing here in orange, where we check for the text for the option to delete more. And you can see it's deleted those. And as you can see by the count on my inbox, I am in need of this bot. And I do actually, in fact, use it every couple of weeks to clean up my inbox. Now, it's going to confirm bulk. Okay, I think I've tested it enough. I know the bot is working. We'll let, let it clear out dominoes. Select all conversations. See, that's the text we search for. If we find that button, we execute a different delete set of steps. 
which I'll talk you through in a second, just so the whole how the bot works is completely clear and transparent. Okay, that's Domino's, and you can see the overall count has now dropped by a couple of hundred. I'm going to close the and stop the bot. Cool, that's awesome. That's Axiom in action. I don't get tired of watching bots automate the browser. Now, before I go on to showing you how bots can be customized or giving you a few tips on how to set this up if you have any issues, let me just talk you through um, what each step does in this Axiom. So the first step is obviously the term that you search by. Then we have a go-to page. We have this outside of the loop because we only have to load the Gmail once. So that will be the URL of Gmail. And inside the loop is where we use this loop to basically go through the different search terms. And in step 3.2, this is where we're inputting the search. Then step 3.3, we click return to submit the search. Then we click the tick box we saw in Gmail up here to select all the emails. And that's um, step 3.5. Then we scrape the text to see if there's going to be more than 50 messages and then execute a different set of steps, which we have an if condition to do. So basically we scrape that text, select all messages from this conversation. I'm from, I think that's what it says. Um, something like that here we go select all conversations that match this search so we scrape that text and we check for it in the if condition if it is present then we run these steps if the condition is true and we click on the select all with this button 3.71 then we click element to delete and then press keys to finally confirm the bulk and when, once that's has stopped, we basically use a jump step to, to skip. And we skip straight to step 3.8, where we now wait and begin the next loop. That's how this bot works. If you need any help, do reach out. Next up, customization. You can, of course, like with any Axiom template, add additional steps in the builder to customize it. Then onto tips. We have added on the template some tips to help you troubleshoot if you are having issues with this template. For example, step one, make sure all your search terms are separated on different rows and make sure there's no white space, otherwise the looping may not work. You may also need to, at times, reselect some of the clicks, including clicking on delete or some of the steps to enter text. Then if you have the bot appear to get into a bit of a tangle and the steps are executing out of order, it could be due to the speed Gmail is loading. I would increase the weight that we have at step 3.10. OK, that's it for now. I'd just like to say we do have great customer support. So if you get stuck using this template, do reach out and we'll help. Thank you.